I'd like to welcome Dale Felt. Uh, he's one of our school board um, candidates and we'll start our session with, with uh, Dale. So Dale, if you could give us a brief background or introduce yourself, I'll give you a minute and a half to do that. Thank you. I came to this district in 1984 for a practice interview and have been here ever since teaching mathematics in the Wapaka School District. I uh, was a National Honor Society advisor, math team advisor, SAD advisor, created and organized a post prom for 32 years, was an officer of the Wapaka Teacher Association. I've served as a Cub Scout leader, a community chair, a committee chair on the Cub Scouts, was a member of the WAHA board. I currently am a member of the Wapaka Nomads and am on the Wapaka Scholarship Foundation board. And hey, recently became a member of the Rotary. I also played Santa for many years in the Wapaka community and will continue to do so. Uh, my wife taught in this district for 30 years, and my son, Devin, and his wife, Kirsten, are both educators in the district as well. My son, Logan, got a great education from this district, too, and he became a chiropractor in medicine in the Green Bay with his wife, May. She is also a teacher. I have two grandchildren and will be attending Wapaka School District in a few years. I love being a Wapaka Comet. The community supports our school like none other. Look at the crowds we get it for homecoming, the donations for different events that we have, and the awesome school work pro, school to work programs we set up with our local businesses. I've enjoyed learning how to be a school board member these past three years and running again because I, I really feel now I have a grasp of everything that is my responsibility. So I'd like to introduce you to Ron Brooks. He is one of the candidates running for the Wapaka School Board, and I'm going to let Ron um, give a little introduction of himself, and you have a minute and a half to answer that. Thanks, Terry. Hi, my name is Ron Brooks. I'm a 1978 graduate of Wapak High School. I'm a 1982 graduate of UW-Madison, and my major was dairy, dairy science production and technology. I have minor studies also in geology and physics. I'm a dairy farmer, and I'm a pilot. Uh, I'm currently the CEO of Brooks Farms, and I'm uh, I own it jointly with my daughter, Zoe Nelson, and she's my chief operations officer. I'm also the president and owner of Northern Light Aviation. I have four daughters, Alyssa McPeak, Kelsey Link, Zoe Nelson, and Sydney Brooks. They also were all graduates of Wapaka High School. I now have nine children, or nine, nine children. I now have nine grandchildren. Uh, six of them are or will shortly be in the Wapaka School District. Uh, my hobbies are flying, barefoot water skiing, hunting, fishing, pretty much any water sport. Uh, we really enjoy the quiet sports, kayaking, and our beautiful rivers and streams around here. And I'm also part of a very small group of very fortunate athletes and people in the Wapaka community. I had both Leroy Havercorn and John Kronkowitz as coaches and mentors. And I think there's only one or two other people that can claim that. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. We'd like to welcome Ben Warren uh, with us today. And we're gonna let him give a, a little brief background on himself um, before we start the questions. Thank you so much, Terry. My name is Ben Warren and I'm here to earn your vote for Wapaka School Board. My strong work ethic, diplomatic nature, and commitment to the success of our children make me the best candidate for this position. I was born in rural Illinois, went to high school in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, and I live in the heart of Wapaka with my wife and family. We're blessed with three children. Our two older boys are enrolled in the district, and our four-month-old daughter will be a comet before you know it. My wife and I met in college where I was studying biochemistry, agriculture, and intercultural communication. Currently, I'm a stay-at-home dad, a hockey mom, and a comedian. My parents placed a high value on education and service and work ethic, and I too value these traits. If elected to the school board, I will do everything in my power to be a voice for all the families in our community, to sustain and improve our schools and to help lift our students to their fullest potential. I'd like to welcome Kayla Van Dyke and I'm gonna let her give a uh, brief introduction of herself and you have one and a half minutes to do that. Kayla. Thanks, Terry. Hi, um, I'm a Wapaka native and 2003 graduate of Wapaka High School. My husband Ryan and I live just outside of town here um, in the country with our two young boys, Finn and Barrett. We love spending time gardening, fishing, and taking care of our chickens. 
I'm a registered nurse at Theta Care Opaca and have worked there for the last 15 years. Prior to that, I had worked at the Wisconsin Veterans Home and Iola Living Assistance along with other local jobs. Um, I believe in building community where you live and that Wapaka is an amazing place to live. I love our natural areas. I love the people in it. I love the community arts hub and our local um, businesses and organizations. We have such great variety. Um, it's the kind of place where you can pass a stranger and smile and they'll smile back at you. Um, in recent years, I've felt an uncomfortable divide in our community. And so I've sought out opportunities to bring people together here at home. Um, I helped build um, a group called Common Roots Rising, where we work to bring people together for the common good. I've helped with local um, river cleanups as, of the Wapaka River. Um, I've done trail cleanups here in town, and I've also helped volunteer in local um, sports and community gardens. Um, I'm not afraid of hard work, and I believe I have the ability to bring people together in a positive way. Your first question is, why do you think you are qualified to be on the school district of Opaca's board? And you have 20 seconds to answer. I think I'm qualified because I have a lot to bring to the table. Um, like I said, I my father went to Opaca High School. Um, I graduated from Opaca High School, as did my four daughters. I am a dairy farmer and landowner and a waterfront property owner. And those are the two very large property tax bases in, in the Wapaka School District, and I feel I can represent both of them. I have extensive experience as a community organizer um, throughout my collegiate life, and even in high school, I was pretty busy doing that. I've worked as a mediator before, um, helping bring community partners together over complex issues. Uh, I've been a part of several organizations where my main goal was creating fundraising, um, and we had successful fundraisers. Um, on top of that, I've been studying the school board and effective leadership. Hi. Um, for the past 20 years, at least, I have been a nurse in our community, taking care of people of all ages and backgrounds. Um, I'm a parent of children in the school district and will represent other parents in a positive way. Um, and I have a readiness to listen and learn to others and their unique perspectives. My experience as a teacher in this district, as well as serving on the board for the past three years, gives me the knowledge needed to make good decisions. I have attended many seminars and workshops that have helped me make intelligent decisions in school affairs. I have demonstrated the ability to listen carefully to criticism offered by people with different views, keeping an open mind and a willingness to learn. I'm an advocate for our children of Wapaka School District. Go Comets! Question two is, what do you see as the primary work of the school board? And you have 20 seconds to answer. The primary work of the school board is to be a voice and interchange between the parents and the families uh, for the kids to create the strongest educational environment possible. Um, I think they have to do, um, they have to make decisions um, when things arise in the school. Um, such as groundskeeping or things with parents in the community and helping teachers to um, have the best resources they can and to help children um, have the best education they can. The primary work of the school board is to look at into the future, the five year, by developing a strategic plan, which I was in the process of this year, uh, helped with. Um, we go to our, we are not to micromanage the school district. Uh, we have an administrator that does that and administrative team. We monitor what goes on in the district at every board meeting so that we understand that the ends are being met. The school board uh, fiscal responsibility is huge. Um, the thing I would like to really approach in, in my tenure on the school board would be, I would like to see merit-based pay uh, replace seniority-based pay for our educators. Question number three, if you had to identify the number one thing that you'd like the board to accomplish this year, what would that be? And you have 20 seconds to answer. After meeting with Ron Zari, our school superintendent, it appears that the first year for a new member on the board will, all, will be about getting to know the ins and outs of how things work. I will work on building relationships with other board members, with school staff, and getting to know the most current issues at hand. By the number one thing that you would like the board to accomplish accomplish this year, what would that be? And you have 20 seconds to answer. 
I believe we need to rebuild a culture of trust between the community, staff, administration, and board members. Our children need to know that we are working together to prepare them to succeed. By trusting and respecting the expertise of our administration, staff, and board, we can focus on giving our children the tools they need. Communication is a must, and all stakeholders need to have opportunities to add to the conversation. We are all truly in this together. Well, I think I already touched on that. I think I would like to see uh, at least investigate the possibility of merit-based pay. My fear is that we're losing young qualified teachers to other school districts or, ed or to education altogether by not rewarding uh, merit early on in their careers. I'd really like to see the board start addressing our declining enrollment. Um, and I know they're already doing it. Um, I want to continue working with the community partners to do this. Um, I think we need to up our game on the internet as far as getting people to uh, see our school as a great place to be. Question number four, what issues do you believe the school district needs to address in its academic program and offerings? And what changes would you recommend? You have 30 seconds to answer. All right, looking at the school district as a whole, we need to close the achievement gaps between all of our students. By doing that, um, we need to hire an interventionist, uh, people to catch kids up after the whole COVID crisis. When we get to the high school area, we need to make sure that kids have the ability to pick the path they want to choose, meaning if they want to go into technology, if they want to go into um, uh, college, if they want to go to tech college, if they want to become a a uh, semi driver, we're going to try, we need to add to those programs in order to kids, give kids those opportunities. I, I'm, I don't know if I'm far enough into it to recommend changes yet. I'm still trying to really get my head wrapped around the target based grading. Um, I've been talking to other districts, other educators, uh, talking to Ron Sari. Um, I just don't know if I'm a big fan of target based learning. Um, I'm sure they have a reason for it. I just have to understand it better. Uh, I don't know that I truly want to change it, but I need to understand it better. I, I think that we have great schools. I mean, I've been researching this for a while now, and there's an impressive array of educational opportunities for the kids. I think that we need to increase our preparedness for these children, get them to have a stronger foundation when they leave the schools. Um, by just shoring up our programs and making them more attractive for, for other people. When I become a board member, I will learn more about the issues at hand. I will work with the teachers to, um, to work through these issues and the other board members to um, find the best solution. I'm not afraid of reaching out um, to find the appropriate resources to answer these questions. And our last question, what do you see as the current challenges facing the school board? I think the biggest challenge is we're seeing dec declining enrollment. Uh, that's not what I'm seeing with residential development in Wapaka. Uh, I would like to make Wo the Wapaka School District a, a district that people want to be in or would open enroll in. Yeah, well, the last two years have been incredibly divisive, right? And I think that the big challenge uh, is going to be uniting everybody to come together for sort of the most important asset to our community, which is our children. I believe um, bringing people together. A lot of the people in the community, um, I, when I went to recent board meetings, um, not everybody was getting along. And I think we all just need to work together to do what's best for our kids. One of the biggest challenges we have in the school board is to get us all back on the same page with trust. Because of the COVID situation, there was a kind of a split in some of the philosophies of the board and the board members need to come back and understand that we're only a single member or we're not a board unless we're all on the same page. If the board isn't all on the same page, if the board doesn't trust in one another and our administration, then the rest of the district falls apart. It's a trickle down effect. And now um, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds for closing remarks. You can say whatever you'd like. I just wanna say that I'm really grateful um, that I live here in Wapaka with all the unrest going on in other parts of the world and that I am a woman that's able to run for a position such as this that can have a positive impact on our community. And I wanna thank the, um, the Chamber of Commerce for having me on here along with all the support I've had and my family that supported me. Um, 
Hi, Finn and Barrett. I love you. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video. And if you have any questions, uh, please reach out on Facebook at Ben Warren for School Board. Um, that's my page. Ask me a question, like it, follow it. If elected, I promise to make it my mission to strengthen our schools, to find common ground that elevates our community, to ensure that I listen to your concerns and that together we will all work for a solution. I'm running because I'm hopeful my impact will help us all. Strong schools, bright futures. Please vote for Ben Warren on April 5th. I'd be very proud to represent uh, the, Wolpacus, the Wolpaca community on the school board of Wolpaca. And I really like the, uh, the linking that they're doing. Uh, I would really like to pursue that farther and link more with community members and parents and government leaders and agriculture and business. Um, really bring that into our technical education and get more parent and more business voice in the school district. I really want to give one more term to the Wapaka School Board. And uh, I feel that I have a lot to offer that um, that I, I have the knowledge, the expertise, uh, and I do like to listen to all parties before I make decisions. Um, I, this school district I've given my heart and soul to for the last 37 years. And if you talk about a life's work, this is my life's work. And I still have my own children involved in it. And I wanna see this, district, this school district thrive so they can become the best teachers and the, my kids going through the best. Thanks, my, my Dale. Grandkids.